Pero doctor, on the other hand, yung worst case scenario, no? Ito kasi yung the trends in recent days, kahapon more than 5,000. Saka yung Okta nga, tinanong na namin ito kay Dr. Del Rosario kanina, yung Okta mm -hmm. predicting up to 11,000 by the end of the month, baby. Sabi niya, kapag nagpatuloy itong trend na to, with that spike, with the speed of transmission, in two or three days, kayang ma-overwhelm yung facilities ng government referral centers. Ha? Is this also the same with private hospitals? Ganun ka, bilis ba yun? Yes, yes po. Uh, actually, mas limited uh, ang resources ng private hospitals. You know, uh, first, uh, funding to our staffing yun ang problems ng uh, uh, private hospitals. The government hospitals, they, they can always have uh, funding. They can always ask for government for, for their funding. But uh, private hospitals, limited po ang funding ng mga hospitals. Usually, ang income lang ng, ng private hospitals come from their census or their admissions. So, and uh, pill health, of course. Eh, right now, medyo nagkakaproblema rin po ang payment or reimbursement ng pill health. So, ang mga private hospitals talaga po, uh, some, most of the private hospitals are resorting to downsizing. Mm. A lot of private hospitals have downsized already. Uh, in our own hospitals, from 150 beds, we went down to 95 beds because we only have a few nurses already. And uh, other hospitals are doing that also. Bakit ko mukunti ang mga nurse? Ah, well, alam nyo naman, uh, they, uh, they have already opened actually uh, the, the overseas uh, uh, applications for okay. nurses. And also, uh, the government uh, is competing because they are asking for, they are offering a higher, ano, hmm. higher salary for nurses. Yeah. And so, so oh, but sorry, yeah, exactly. That's that's precisely what we everybody's been trying to wrap their heads around. On the one hand, uh -oh. my deployment, and yet every time we yes. talk to the Nurses Association of the Philippines, yeah. they also always emphasize. It's, actually, there's an oversupply. There's a glut of right. nurses na yeah. na walang trabaho ngayon. Well, well, Dolles, uh, well, uh, Mr. Bellio is saying that there are 400,000 nurses. Where are the nurses? Hmm. They, they, they can just give us the nurses, but. There is none. Uh, mm. The truth is, uh, the, 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 a lot of nurses are going out. So basically, no takers. <laughs> basically, what you're saying is there, there are openings, and it's probably true because we have gotten it straight from the Nurses Association of the Philippines, not just the Department of Labor, where they say there are hundreds of thousands of nurses without jobs. So is it that there are openings, there, are, there is need for this job, uh, never mind the jobs that they're taking abroad, uh, but there are no takers for the nurses' position uh, here in our hospitals? Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe a lot of them are already preparing to, to go overseas. Malami siguro nagano, pero a lot of them have already, in our own, own hospital, uh, at least uh, around 20% have resigned for the, in the past uh, three or four months. Hmm. And that is true for all, almost all of the other hospitals. Twenty mm. percent so, po sa iba rin. Nag-downsize kayo. Ano yes. ano yung mga empleyadong dinownsize no? Kung ganyan uh, nakawalan pala ng nurse eh. I, we, aside from that, uh, uh, yung ibang uh, non-medical, we have to do some uh, uh, re uh, hours reduction or uh, work mm. from home or something like that or for low for, for the other uh, employees, so that uh, at least we, we, we don't have to retrench them. Hmm. So we just uh, give them uh, reduced working hours. Ano po ba yan? Is that a question of salaries? Is it because uh, the government offers higher salaries than private? Or is it the other way around? Because our impression really was uh, there's there's so many nurses just waiting to be called by government hospitals mm. but no one is hiring them or calling them so what accounts for the discrepancy uh between your uh, numbers and uh the numbers of the nurses association well i think a lot of it has to do with the salary then no because they are offering at least thirty-two thousand. uh in government the, yeah government government yeah uh, although they don't realize that that uh, that is temporary, you know. 
uh, that's uh, uh, they call uh, no, on yes, the job yes. or something like that. Uh, Continue permanent only for yeah. for the mm. duration of the pandemic. Hey, doctor, what yes. about uh, how does fear and fatigue factor into the decision of nurses whether or not to take the jobs? Well, in a way, probably, but they they only have to take a rest for one or two weeks and they're, they're already back, you know. Mm. Uh, Re-energized. Uh. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, that uh, but they just take a rest usually if they really wanted to work. Yeah. You know, because in other uh, private hospitals, the, the salary is around uh, already 25,000 plus uh, perks, mm. some perks mm. like free Benefits, accommodation, yes. free yeah. meals. Like mm. that. Yes. That's on the fatigue oh. side. Well, that's on the fatigue side. What about on the on the fear side? I mean, now they can have access to vaccination. Uh, is that having an effect, in, at least in terms of encouraging and providing incentives? Yes, uh, actually, we have some nurses in our uh, facility, and when we said that uh, if you are given uh, vaccination, would you like to stay? Well, they said that they, re they retracted their, their resignation. So, mm. but we have to ask them to at least uh, extend extend their work for another year, probably. Just to segue on that matter, you know, ang, ang problem actually in private hospitals. I'll uh, just bring it up. You know, of course, it's the funding, and uh, we'd like to ask the government to help the hospitals. A lot of hospitals uh, are only uh, trying to survive or are, are all, only surviving because they have downsized, you no. Know? And they have minimized, they tried to minimize their expenses. And uh, if government please uh, should be, they should uh, help the, the hospitals get the first, of course, the, the funding from Pill Health, uh, which are very much delayed. And uh, that's it. Uh, we're not like the government hospitals who, have, you can, who can ask for Congress to fund them. Uh, or have a foundation to, to give the financial support. But uh, uh, the private hospitals only rely on the patients that they, they, they admit. And of course, uh, more, pill health also. And the uh, problem right now, that's the problem. What is the average delay sa pill health nyo, reimbursement? Ano? Well, uh, actually there is supposed to be a 60, 60 day for submission, 60 day for for embarrassment. Now, usually it sometimes it's nine months before they can pay. If they wow. still pay. Actually they, they a lot of hospitals uh, are not being paid. Maybe maybe siguro ano yung iba patak patak. But then uh, uh, just an example no one uh, COVID patient, let's say uh, just a mild case no ang binibigay lang ng pill health is only around forty four thousand. And the patient has to stay for two weeks. If the patient is, uh, is spending at least 10000 a day because of the medications, that's uh, another 140000 And Bill Health will only give you 44000 So where will the hospital get the, the payment or the, the, for the excess uh, cost for the patient? Uh, some of the patients... Uh, are willing to to shoulder the cost, but what about the the, the indigent pa patients and also the the policy of pill health is for NBV for the COVID patients or no balance billing. Uh, that means uh, they they should not be charged. Are you is going to to pay for for all of those things? Mm -hmm. 